Hello everyone, here's another video update for Treasure Corals and today we're going to take a look at my Treasure Black Aquarium that uh, has some updates. Um, so for all of you who have, who have been watching this uh, build for the past few months know that for the past month I've been dealing with some major, major, major issues with this aquarium. So. This aquarium is plumbed into um, all of my frag system and I've lost probably about 30% of my SPS. Um, lots of them look horrible and my LPS seem to completely not mind it. And I've been posting these videos uh, fairly often, so once every week. Um, and I really appreciate everybody's feedback on what could be wrong, what I can be doing differently and I think now I should be on the rebound. I haven't lost any significant amount of corals in the past uh, 10 days so I think that whatever I've had in the tank, whether it was copper um, and I think it was copper, uh, is starting to be removed. Uh, so I'm running Cuprisorp in the aquarium. I have done a fair bit of water changes. I've also uh, dosed a fair bit of bacteria and I think things have stopped um, kind of going in the wrong direction. I'm also seeing quite a fair bit of uh, coralline algae forming, especially on this rock over here. So it's all covered in beautiful coralline and um, one of the, actually two of the vortex, actually all of the vortex. So this has been growing so fast that I think I only had one uh, vortex covered in coralline and just uh, probably a few days ago and now it's all of them. So that's a good sign. And I invite you on a journey with me to see how long does it take for an aquarium to recover after what I presume is a copper uh, poisoning? So, um, I want to document it. And if you, for example, watching this in 2025 and you're dealing with a similar copper issue and you've uh, come across this video, well, um, scroll uh, forward and maybe look at the next few videos that will come over the next uh, couple of weeks, couple of months, and you'll see whether you, your corals are gonna bounce back or whether they're gonna uh, completely die. Now, I'm trying to document everything. I also want to give a shout out to Jake Adams, uh, Reef Builders, who've <laughs> talked to me <laughs> several times about this issue and uh, um, I like to say that I think he is 100% right in terms of what the cause is. It is copper. Uh, I also want to say that it uh, looks like the ICP test might not be accurate. I'm actually in that camp now. So I think that my ICP didn't show uh, copper, but I'm pretty sure that that's what it was. So. Um, Surprisingly, trust uh, HANA uh, refractometer, sorry, uh, test kit, uh, the high range copper test kit. Um, and if you need a fancy caddy for it, uh, just click on the link below and you'll be able to get it from me. Enough of a plug. So coming back to Jake Adams and Rebuilders. Um, so he's basically called it and uh, if I would have listened to his advice um, more thoroughly maybe I would have been able to save a few more corals. But what's done is done. Uh, his uh, thinking is that um, the corals that have already um, have copper in their skeletons are pretty much toast but any new growth and I'm checking every day to see if there's any gr new growth in the aquarium that should be totally fine and uh, clean of contaminants. I deliberately did not remove any of the corals um, that have died. So you can see there's quite a few. And what I plan to do next, and if you're watching um, the video on next Sunday, 
I hope uh, we'll know more by then. Uh, I plan to take a couple of SPS corals from frags from my other tank, which was unaffected, and I will put it in this aquarium and see if um, how they will react. I think it's going to be pretty cool to see uh, thriving uh, new growth right next to completely dead corals. So that's the plan. I uh, probably will do that over the next uh, couple of days. So tune in on Sunday to see if uh, any of the corals have died or how they um, have fared. I've lost a lot. This has definitely been uh, very challenging. Um, it made me want to throw in the towel quite a few times. Um, I thought about it, but um, I'm quite stubborn sometimes. and. I do like this hobby a lot, um, so I'm not throwing a towel just yet. So that's where I'm at. I appreciate everybody's support. Uh, it, I, I mean it. That's been um, a lot of help uh, from all of you, all the good wishes. And yes, sometimes those things happen. So if you are experiencing something similar, well, don't uh, get too um, discouraged. It is what it is. So part of the hobby. At least the fish are doing excellent um, and I'm really digging it. So hopefully the next video is going to be a little bit more cheerful. But meanwhile, stay tuned and stay uh, well and uh, cool in this weather. And I thought I would document what I was planning to do, which is fragging those two corals. So this is a freshly fragged uh, tort right in front of us and right behind it all the way in the back this is the Harry Styles which is a beautiful coral with uh, long polyps so we have both of them here right now and let's see if they'll make it uh, all the way through Sunday and I've also fragged um, the Yundata which I've put in my frag system Usually this one only lasts a day or two and then it dies. So I'm really curious if they will survive or not.